after a three game stand in San Diego where they won two of the games. The Los Angeles Dodgers are back home to face the Atlanta Braves. These two teams met in the National League Divisional Series last October. The Braves won to win two of these games to make a statement, but the Dodgers are tough at home and want to stay in first place. Oh, I've just never seen so many young, talented players. And, uh, you know, whether it's the Nationals with Soto or these guys with Acuna, Albies, there's a lot of young, talented players. And, you know, we miss Tatis in San Diego. So it's going to be a fun series. They've got some veterans, as we mentioned, and they got some young pitchers or some young ball players. Um, and we got Fulton Avitz, who was their ace last year. We got him in a couple of days. Max Free is a lefty who's pitched well for him. So we're going to have our hands full. The Dodgers just signed former Mets catcher Travis Darnell to a one-year contract Sunday, putting three successful catchers on the roster. Cody Bellinger, who had a great month in April, has been in and out of the lineup with a shoulder injury, so we don't know yet if he will play tonight. He, he's in there, um, and yesterday obviously came into pinch hit, and so we just try to uh, be really cautious with him, especially when you have a, a recurring shoulder um, issue coming out of the socket. So it's happened a couple times, but right now for the training staff from Cody, he feels good. Um, I do think going forward, him being in the outfield makes the most sense instead of having him be at first base, the potential dive, uh, ball over his head, getting it from the infielder. So we'll see how that goes uh, as time goes on. Walker Bueller will take the mound for the Dodgers and Kevin Gossman for Atlanta. This should be a great pitcher's game for Dodgers fans. He did that. He actually got on his bike and rode to the stadium and picked up some stuff right away so I can take it that night. And um, I woke up the next day. It was it was a little bit down actually. It wasn't you know it didn't it's like, not like it got worse. And then like I said I went and got something to eat. Came back at like 12 and then for gosh I think it was like from 12 to 2 it just got out of control. And then I started to get a little bit nervous about it. I ended up calling the surgeon who did my surgery. Sure. I talked to Sharon and I, I told him what was going on. He said, send me some pictures. And then, you know, as soon as I sent him, he called me and said, I think you need to be in the emergency room and, you know, get some antibiotics. And then I called call Neil and he called Neil. And that's when the, the whole craziness started. Kind of with the way that I throw the ball, if I, if I can get an advantage, advantage counts, I think it makes it tough on them. So obviously the two home runs kind of stink, and uh, but the, both of those are, are two one counts, and, and that's the stuff I was avoiding, you know, most of the time. You know, with the way I've been kind of going, you know, this is obviously a step forward, and um, kind of look at that, and you know, I think it's, you know, it sucks to give it up, but at the same time, they're kind of similar situations with, with two veteran hitters that that hit advantage count fastball. So. Um, that's their job, and, and it's my job to throw a strike, and, and we did that, so. You know, it worked out. We're two games in uh, San Diego. You know, we ended up getting it off their closer, and same thing on the third day, but we just couldn't hang on to it. Um, I think uh, I think throughout the whole game, our, our hitters do a really good job of, you know, staying within our zone, staying within our approach, and uh, just putting really, really good at-bats on. From Dodger Stadium, this is Claudia Gestra for the LA Post Examiner.